be the sales. So the sales, we're going to jump back to the sales budget, and that's where we're going to have the total sales. So we just jump back to step one, sales budget. That's going to be line one of the budgeted income statement. Then we have the cost of goods sold calculation, which of course we have calculated and we did that in the budgeted cost of goods sold. So remember, that's in the prior recording where we took a look at the cost of goods manufactured, this number here, which we needed in order to create the cost of goods sold calculation. Then we can, of course, take the cost of goods sold number and plug that into our budgeted income statement at this point. Then we're going to have the gross profit. That's going to be the sales minus the cost of goods sold that will give us the gross profits calculation as normal then we're gonna have the operating expenses all other expenses here within the operating expenses we are going to have the sales commission and sales salary so we're going to pick those numbers up by jumping back to the selling and uh, selling expense budget so we have these two items we didn't total them up in this budget so we'd have to add them up so we got july august september for the sales commission and july august and september for the sales salary if we added these up and then added these up then we would come up with the 13248 for the sales commission and the sales salary 10005 all right then we have the general administrative salaries and the long term note interest and we're going to pull that from here. So we got the general administrative. This one we did total up for the 33,000 uh, and the 15. We're just summing up the quarter, uh, the full quarter, which is, of course, the three months in this case. So here's the 33 and the 15 general administrative long term note interest. Then we have the short term note interest. I'm just going to pull that number in. We did that on the cash flow statement. Uh, and so you could pick it up from the statement of cash flows where we calculated the interest on the uh, short-term note and then if we sum these items up we're summing up the operating expenses so we pull them into the enter column we, if we add these up and pull them out to the outer column we have the total operating expenses of the 188 to 868 and now we have the gross profit profit and the operating expenses we're going to subtract those two out just as we normally would 255 335 minus the 188 8 68 would give us the 66 467 that's income before taxes now we're going to assume a tax rate of 35 percent we generally break out the taxes separately as a separate light item even though they are an, an expense you know related to all the other types of expenses because taxes tend to distort the picture and we know that taxes vary in relation to net income so we're usually going to break that out at the bottom here so we're going to take the 66467 we're going to assume 0 0.35 35% tax rate and that will give us the tax 23263 uh, so there's the 23263 then if we take the income before taxes minus the taxes that will give us the net income the 43204 net income